Hey folks, Jesse here. My pronouns are she and they. Um, and today I am going to offer us a simple grounding guided meditation. So a lot of times we think that to do yoga, to have a meditation practice, to um, you need to fully commit yourself, right? That, and sometimes that's the messaging that we have to put our whole selves in. And that's big. And I think it's hard for us to get from, I feel like I need connection to, I need to have all the connection. We feel like that's a, an insurmountable gap because it is. And I like to remind myself as much as I like to offer to others, it's okay for a few minutes of your day to be for connecting to yourself. That that is the practice. There are infinite ways to experience it. One of the ways is we come to the yoga mat. Today, we're just going to come to our breath. So find a comfortable seated position, or you could lie on the ground or put your legs up on a chair or up the wall. Your experience is your own. So you could just be sitting at your desk right now and it would be a great place to start. If you want any props, if you want to make any adjustments, maybe you want to kick your shoes off. (laughs) A couple of sighs out through the mouth. I like to flutter my lips like that. You could blow the air out. You might notice your breath start to deepen naturally. The more air you breathe out, the more air maybe you find you can start to take in. Hmm. Right when I did that, my eyes instinctively closed. (laughs) Maybe yours did too. If not, no worries. Um, It doesn't always feel good or safe or grounding to close our eyes. So if that's the case for you, see if you can just soften the muscles around your eyelids. Maybe you can find a fixed point to gaze at like almost down the tip of your nose, out in the distance somewhere. So something like, you know, a spot in the floor or on the wall, or if you have a crystal, (laughs) you might, you know, or something you want to, you know, something you would like to sort of zone out with. (laughs) See, I'm already zoned out. (laughs) Because the journey is inward. Out is still going to happen, right? We're not trying to control the circumstances. We're not trying to make anything happen. We're dropping in. We locate ourselves in the here and now. And then we get to choose. And that's really cool. Do you want to start to deepen your breath? Or is whatever naturally showed up doing the trick so far? Hmm. Take a quick scan from the top of your head down to the bottoms of your feet. Just maybe even a little wiggle Maybe a little shift or shake somewhere. Notice if your body is holding tension or just holding you up in a way that it doesn't need to right now. You could move where your arms are. Maybe you want to roll your head a little bit, either around on your shoulders or if you're on your back, you could turn your head side to side. (sighs) And find a still place. Still doesn't mean not moving. (laughs) I know that sounds like yoga gibberish. (laughs) 
but it doesn't mean it, you know, it doesn't mean not moving. It just means quiet. Maybe it appears to be not moving. Your breath is still moving. Your blood is still pumping. And the world outside is still turning. We don't have to do anything about any of that but notice it. As you, <clears throat> excuse me, as you breathe a little deeper, you might want to invite breath in and out through your nose. If you gently engage the muscles in the top back part of your throat, you might start to hear your breath. You might start to feel yourself sip the air in and push it back out slow. In yoga, this is called the Ujjayi Pranayama. It has many benefits. It gives us something to focus on here and now. It tones and supports our nervous system. And I find in my own practice, it's the quickest, most trusted way I have to drop in. I could be like out there in the world doing something, feel a stress response, like get annoyed with something, get startled by something, you know, have to work through something. And no matter how I'm feeling or what I'm going through, I know that when I take that deeper breath in and longer breath out, that I'm gonna show up more fully in the moment I'm in, that I'm inviting connection to myself. And sometimes that's why I don't <laughs> take a deep breath in, <laughs> right? But here, now, we're in a space where we get to practice that. We get to practice dropping back into where we are so that we can experience ourselves in a way that offers choice. At least choice in how we interact with ourselves. When I'm met with resistance in my body, in my mind, in my heart, lately I just try to get curious about it. Like instead of making a statement about how I feel, I've been trying to offer questions. Why does this make me angry? Who first told you this hurtful message? What do you need to heal? There is no need to rush your process. We don't need to climb the mountain in a single day. Our practice gets to be bit by bit, breath by breath, moment by moment. And a couple more rounds of your deep, full breath here. And we'll take a few minutes to rest comfortably together, breathing and noticing. 
If you want to change the position you're in, you can do that now. If you're comfortable as is, just settle in. I am going to lay on my back because I like it. <laughs> if you want any props, let's see. Blanket to cover up with or to support your head. A bolster or pillow or two under your knees. Just find your way into a shape that works for you. If you've got glasses like I do, you could take them off if they weren't already. If you have a hood or a scarf, you could cover up your eyes. Hmm. <sighs> Drop back in. Changing positions does not interrupt, <clears throat> excuse me, does not interrupt our practice. It's a result of our practice. Our connection to ourself always leads us to us. Even when it feels like we're taking a detour. Because really there is nowhere else to go but with ourselves. There's infinite places to go. We just experience it all from this body, from this awareness. And so the more conscious connection we offer ourselves, the more questions we get to ask. <sighs> the more we get to show up in the moment we're in. <sighs> Just like we started, give yourself a few breaths, big breaths out. <sighs> and a few minutes to rest and breathe.
Notice your breath. <sighs> Notice your body breathing. <sighs> and slowly come back down into movement. Stretching, reaching, hugging in. Oh. If you're on your back or have your legs up on something, roll to one side for a few breaths. Give yourself a chance to recalibrate to not being upside down. And then use your hands to help yourself up. Find an easy seated position, so don't stress about it. Anything goes. Mm. If it feels okay to bring your hand, one hand on your heart, one on your belly, or hands on your legs. <sighs> This connection to yourself is available anytime. Just a few rounds of deep breath and awareness can bring you back to the moment you're in over and over again. And so give yourself some time here, a little space for gratitude of you of your awareness and connection to yourself and for prioritizing that. A <sighs> couple more breaths in and out. <sighs> oh. Thank you all so much for sharing connection with me and little Franklin today. Hail yourselves. Have an awesome rest of your day.